So Meta failed big time. Three days ago, Meta announced that they are combating financial extortion scams from Nigeria. Our American teens, especially teen boys, have been getting hit with scams by Nigerian men calling themselves the Yahoo Boys. This is happening mainly on Instagram and also Snapchat. They're pretending to be young girls. They flirt, ask to exchange nude photos or videos, and then demand money or the image will be shared with the boys' family and friends. This is happening to tens of thousands of kids, potentially hundreds of thousands, and dozens of teen boys have taken their own lives within minutes or hours after being targeted. So what did Meta do? Really nothing. But then three days ago, Meta removed 63,000 Instagram accounts from Nigeria, accounts who were actively targeting kids with sextortion scams. They also removed 7,200 Facebook accounts and pages and groups that were sharing scripts on how to blackmail and sexually extort our children. One network of 20 Nigerian men was found to be running 2,500 accounts, 20 men running 2,500 accounts. So cybercrime expert Paul Raphael blew the whistle on this issue back in May. My interview is available with Paul, but we've known about sextortion crimes for years. Meta has known for years, and they just finally did something. Paul suggested that the headline for this update should have been, quote, Meta discloses it facilitated the largest blackmail operation in human history. And guess what? Numerous Facebook groups dedicated to sextortion still exist with several thousand users and numerous daily posts. So while removing 70,000 accounts and pages and groups that are targeting our kids is helpful, one, why can't we wipe it all? Two, why are we still allowing minors to send nude images in private messages on Facebook Messenger or Instagram Messenger? And three, I hope that what parents can take from this is Meta's not looking out for our kids. We have to monitor or delay their use entirely. Your kid could be the next one targeted.